Hi. Well, look, Eddie, I'll bet our next guest can help you forget your problem with Joan Davis for a while. This girl is a real cutie pie, she is. <laughs> Harry, our next guest is a lovely songstress who went over big in New York nightclubs and in Broadway hit shows. Now she's creating a big star in Hollywood radio. Harry, you say you... you know this girl? Know her? <laughs> Why, Eddie, last night she and I went out together. You went out together? Yeah, the bartender synchronized our Mickeys. So... <laughs> Oh, what's the use, gang? I want you to meet Imogene Carpenter. Oh, thank you, Eddie. Hi, gang. And for Private Albert L. Nedham in Germany, I'd like to sit down at the piano and see what I can do to a wonderful number by George Gershwin. <laughs> Life has just begun Jack has found his Jew Don't know what you've done But I'm all a thrill How can words express Your divine appeal You can never say All the love I feel from now on, mystery, I insist For me, no other man exists Wonderful, marvelous You should care for me Oh, it's paradise It's what I long to see You've made my life so glamorous You can't blame me for feeling amorous Oh, it's wonderful Marvelous That you should care for me Imogene Carpenter, the gang will want more of that. And now, fellas... Oh, Mr. Cantor, Mr. Uh, Cantor. Why, it's our producer. What is it, sir? Uh, there's a woman outside who says she's your wife. Says she's my wife? Why, it can't be. It's a mistake. I'm not married to her. Yeah, Eddie, I think you are, because here she is Why, now. it's Joan Davis. Joan Davis. Joan, Joan, say it isn't so. Are we really man and wife? Well, we're wife and something, whatever you are. <laughs> oh, but Joan, I can't be yours. Get somebody else. There are other fish in the sea. Well, fish may be all right on Friday, but the rest of the week, I'd like a little ham. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Eddie, just think. You're, you're mine. And who are we to challenge love? Oh, what do you mean, love? Well, don't you know what it is that gives you that feeling of contentment? That certain something that makes your heart flutter, your head spin? Yes, but here you can't buy it after 8 o'clock. <laughs> Joan, you're not the romantic type. Oh, yes, I am, Eddie. Sometimes I even surprise myself. You do? Last week, a soldier dropped into my broadcast, and while I was kissing him... Yes? His dog tag had pups. Oh! <laughs> Stop being silly. You must call the whole thing off, don't you see? I'm already married. I got a wife. You? You're married? Well, yeah. A boy like you? <laughs> boy. Of course I'm married. Well, why do you keep those things a secret? A secret? Why, well, everybody knows about me and Ida. Don't you see I can't have two wives? You can't have two wives? No. You mean you're going to take that poor little girl and turn her out in the street? No! <laughs> I didn't say that. Well, I know what we can do. What? We'll adopt Ida. <laughs> adopt Ida? Why, sure. Uh, can't you picture what fun it'll be, Eddie, having Ida in our home? Coming in every morning, hearing her tiny little feet toddling out of the nursery. Ida? Tiny feet? <laughs> Then put on her bobby socks. I didn't bobby socks? Yeah. Then send her off to school. Now, wait a minute. I won't do it. But I think we should adopt Ida. You'd get to like a daughter if you ever had one. <laughs> oh, fine. I won't do it. Now, get out. Get out of my life and let me alone. Let me alone. Oh, I want to be alone. Let oh, me alone. Stop being a kid. Act your age. Uh, Eddie, that reminds me. How old are you anyway? How old am I? Joan, I happen to be the father of five daughters. Eddie, I asked your age, not your hobby. <laughs> now make up your mind. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be your hobby. <laughs> right, Joan, how will your people feel? How will your people feel when they know that we're married? Well, Eddie, Mother doesn't feel she's losing a daughter. She feels we're getting something in the family we've never had before. A son. No, a grandfather. 